Welcome to the second annual SHOT Show Top Shot reunion. Uh, we did this last year with the cast of season one, and we had a couple of people from season two from Top Shot there. I don't think any of us had any idea that this was going to be quite as big of a production as it was ever turned out to be. And we also have some people to introduce from season four, which airs in three weeks' time. I'm Tim Trevorin from uh, Dane, Wyoming, Little Town of Western Wyoming. Hey, what made you apply to Top Shots? Uh, my father in law told me I wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> but I, can, I can provide a translation for this guy if you like. He can't translate a darn thing I'm saying. I'm Terry Vaughan, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I applied to Top Shop because my wife thought it would be a good idea for me to embarrass myself on national television. My name is Greg Middleton. I applied to Top Shot watching season two. He gave me the uh, itch to do it and signed up. Been shooting since I was three years old. My name is Michelle Viscusi. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and I applied just to see if I could get on. My name is Colin Gallagher, Wichita, Kansas. The reason why I applied was to uh, make an impression on my father in his elder years. My name is Frank Maloney. I'm from Long Island, New York. I'm a high school custodian, uh, World War II firearms collector, and amateur ballistician. Uh, I signed up for season two after I found out that it was actually cast for and that the shooters weren't pre-selected. You won season one. Yeah, I went on, on Top Shot because I really didn't know what I was getting myself in for, and I had no idea that it would actually air at all. So I thought, yeah, you know, this is just an experiment. And it, apparently, this show has actually got actually got legs, and there are people out there who who watch it. I didn't realize that there were people out there who maybe would. The women on Top Shot always seem to get the short end of the stick. How is it for you living in the house with all these guys? It was great. I actually had a, a great time. I, I mean, I didn't think it was going to be horrible or people seem, oh my gosh, you're going to be put in a house with, you know, 15 other guys. And I loved it. It was awesome. It was a great experience. What would you guys say to somebody who wanted to apply to Top Shots? What do you want to tell them? Do it. A lot harder than a lot. Do it. Don't doubt yourself. Have the confidence. We try it. You never know how it's going to turn out. I'd say expect the unexpected. Definitely expect the unexpected. Did you like your experience there? Definitely. Fantastic. Fantastic. Do it again at our The highs, the lows, the whole thing was amazing. One thing I noticed from the season one and season two and season three of Top Shot is that everybody tries to stay in touch with each other and it's kind of almost like it's a Top Shot fraternity. What was it like with you guys? The same sort of experience? Absolutely. Because nobody can relate to what went on, not only in the house but also through each of the competitions, except for the guys that were there alongside you. So staying in touch with them means sharing some of the war stories, going over some of the things you did wrong, some of the things you did right. But these are the only guys that can really understand. You know, if you've been in the trenches, 